Hi guys! What did you think? <laughs> that I'd leave you without a voiceover. Never. I've been here the whole time. I just wanted to let you guys kind of uh, fall into the spirit of what plopping means to me. It's just loose and um, I like to do it standing up just to give my arm a complete like flow. Um, just, you know, letting the colors run into each other and uh, it's my favorite. I've got to say it's my favorite thing to do <laughs> um, because then I come in and I want to do things like this where I'm hand lettering a quote and this is uh, very tight. A lot of my muscles in my arms and in my abs are like tightened because I want to make sure that uh, basically I'm not breathing. <laughs> I'm still... Um, you know, learning hand lettering, I still have to remind myself uh, of the techniques and to give myself a moment to lift my hand from the paper. I have to remind myself when we're going down, we're making it thick and we're using the whole brush. And then when we're coming back up, you only use the tip. And um, so <clears throat> I like the combination of the two things in my spreads. And uh, I wanted to give you guys uh, a full view, which is why the hand lettering part is actually running uh, real time. This is literally how long it takes me to do something like this. Um, I think it's about six minutes on the timer. I am cringing because you know me. I like to edit my videos and make them nice and short and sweet for you guys. I am always um, thinking... <laughs> You guys want, um, like, just the fast version of it. And meanwhile, I do get a lot of comments asking me to slow down um, and show the, the real process. And, um, yeah, I am happy to, I am happy to share um, how my progress has been. I am really, oh, good morning, Gigi. Yes, thank you. I am really happy to you know, show my progress in terms of hand lettering because when I started out bullet journaling, um, it was all about uh, faux calligraphy and I was really good at it, you know, where I knew what the shapes were for the letters so I could just um, go back and color them in and, and, you know, fix them up. But having this skill under my belt now is pretty amazing. Um, I've always wanted to do the pretty lettering, and I had just never given myself the time to uh, figure it out. And I still, I, I could do better if I did more drills. Yes, Gigi, thank you. Mm -hmm, she agrees. She agrees that I could sit and do some drills, do some practice, but I don't. <laughs> I, I want to just, like, take off running. Um, if you know what I mean. So anyways, uh, this is a plan with me for this week. I am doing a little bit of journaling. We'll see how much, how it goes, depending on how this week goes. I'll also be adding some pictures probably. Um, I like that memory keeping aspect of it. If there's anything super exciting, then I'll add a little memorabilia kind of scrapbook. Do you see how this becomes like an omni journal? Because it's like all the things. I've got watercolor, I've got hand lettering, I've got pictures and stickers and stuff. So um, I love the freedom of this A5. If I haven't said that before or if you're new to my channel and you don't know what I'm talking about, I've been a bullet journaler for over three years and I've recently broken out of my own um, rule box and giving me the li giving myself the liberty to um, do everything that I've ever wanted to do because before, in my older videos, you'll notice that I was doing a lot of scheduling and productivity stuff, and the doodles were kind of sprinkled in between. Now I want the art to be um, front and center, and I still have my productivity pages where I keep track of my monthly, my weekly. Um, stuff in my social media calendar but in my dailies I want to be loose I want it I want it to be pretty I want it to be appealing and I want to 
be able to come into my day and um and be received by all these colors this is actually um this watercolor spread is actually uh somebody on instagram posted like a beach scene that obviously had been a little bit altered um i don't know if these colors exist <laughs> in nature but um i thought it was beautiful and i am loving everything where i can mix like the purple with the pink with the brown with the not brown oh my gosh with the greens and the blues um so this is like a beachy sunset and instead of going into detail i left it really loose and uh, right now i'm going to switch over from my Tombow Furunosuke uh, over to this other pen that I got on Jet Pens. It is called, actually I don't know what it's called because it's all in Japanese. But I will try to find the link and post it down below. And if you are wondering what my brush is, what my palettes are, what um, other things that I may be using, make sure to click on the Amazon link of my favorites. Um, I keep that up to date and um, it doesn't cost you anything if you end up shopping from there it just uh, helps me a little bit in the back end to continue buying things and trying them and um, using them because that's what I do and uh, yeah I think I'm done with my quote I am saying goodbye but I forgot to turn off the camera so you guys get a little bit of a bonus footage of how it is that I go through my sticker sash to um, prep for the week. So I obviously don't always use just my stickers. I started out as a fangirl, so I buy stickers from a bunch of different shops. Plus I have been going to a lot of different events where I've been getting a lot of um stickers so this is what I do in my little happy planner micro which I've converted into a sticker book I will take an empty page and I will go through my sash this week I wanted to go with all things gold so I'm picking out little icons and things that I know that I will need for this week we've got some TV some YouTube um, new release stickers things of that nature and I will go through everything that I have and kind of pick out things that make sense for this week and that I would like to make a part of um, my spread. And then later on, I don't have to go through my so whole stash every day. I just have to flip to this particular page and know that um, I've already done the work for me. Now, there are times where I remember, oh gosh, I should have grabbed a certain sticker and then I have to go into the whole stash. But this is... Um, relatively working for me in terms of it saves me some time during the week and I don't have to you know go through everything um, I do have a lot of stickers and if you are starting out please don't feel like you need to buy all the things or even like my brush my brush is it's an okay quality it's not the best quality I'm not over here painting masterpieces I am painting in my journal and so it is important to buy the appropriate materials, meaning that my brush was about $3, but it is for watercolor. You know, I wouldn't buy a $3 acrylic paintbrush to do watercolor because that's just not going to work for me. So keep in mind your budget, but buy the appropriate things for your medias. Next, I'm going to give a huge shout out to my friend Diana and um all the ladies over at paper house productions i am using the sugary gal shop sticker book um that was produced by paper house and um it is so beautiful i've been raving about it in real life and on instagram I was really proud because I was actually the first one to flip through it <laughs> on social media. So um, I just love her character, Lady D. She is just all kinds of stylish. And I feel like she would be um, like my Annie's mentor. You know what I mean? Anyways, uh, thank you so much. And I'll see you guys soon. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Don't miss a thing. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.